So today I'm here with um, Frank Pellucci and Paul Mason from the Australia Council and we're going to talk about the changes to the Australia Council's funding. So over to you to introduce yourselves, please. Well, I'm Paul Mason. I'm currently the Acting Executive Director of the Arts Funding Division, but normally I love the role of Director of Music here at the Australia Council, which I've been doing for several years. And I'm Frank Panucci. I'm currently the Executive Director of the Grants Implementation Task Force. I'm charged with introducing the new grants program. And my other formal role is actually the Executive Director of the Arts Funding Division. Thank you. Now, is it possible to give us a brief overview, please, of the changes? Well, the changes are across the Australia Council. Um, there's two, two main aspects to it. One is that we've launched a new strategic plan for the next five years. Basically, the, you know, our vision is to be a culturally ambitious nation and our job is basically to invest in and promote and advance the arts in Australia. And concurrently with that, we've um, outlined what our new grants programs are from 2015. So the changes to our grants programs are the most significant changes in the grants program the Australia Council has taken in 40 years of its existence. Thank you. And are we working um, from the same pot of money when we're moving into this new funding cycle? Well, our budget um, in for 15-16 and 14-15, uh, you know, like all government agencies uh, in the 14-15 budget, we all um, had to absorb, you know, um, savings that uh, the government uh, introduced across all the public sector. But in 15-16, our financial base, our budget base is more than we had in 13, uh, in 12, 13. So in a way, the pot is fundamentally the same, but it, there is a small amount of growth in the, in the fallout forward years. Yep. I'm sure that's good news for yep. all the artists concerned. Now, the changes to the uh, funding categories actually will impact on jazz organisations as one of the categories that people like the Melbourne Jazz Co-op, Jazz Groove, Jazz SA, Wajo and SEMA fell within um, will no longer exist. What do you see as, um, what, you know, how will they transition across and what do you see as being the key difference in the future? So Frank's alluded to the change in the grant program that we're implementing and that'll um, kick off next year in March next year. So we're moving from where we were previously, which was 153 different categories across the whole organisation the closing date every three days and a booklet that was about this thick that you had to wade through to understand where the opportunities were. We're going from that to five categories with four aligned closing dates throughout the year. So it really is imperative to simplify it. So amongst those five categories you have um, development grants for individuals, you've got project grants for individuals, project grants for organisations, six year funding and fellowships. And I think it's, while I acknowledge that you know, those categories have obviously changed, um, there are great opportunities for those jazz organisations within those new categories, in particular the projects for organisations. Uh, that's probably the area that I'm most excited about yeah. in the new grant category because I think there's a lot of room for people there. Yeah. And so that's absolutely where we would be encouraging people to start looking. The project category that Paul's alluded to actually allows for three project funding. So organisations and even individuals can apply for projects which go over a three year period, and which is one of the major changes we've introduced to the grants category. Oh, that sounds like a really great change. Yeah. Um, and how does this sort of tie in with the key organisations at the moment who are on triennial funding and the opportunities for six year funding and for say maybe more small, smaller, more dynamic organisations to break through that sort of glass ceiling? Well I, I might start by saying um, we have uh, contracts in place with people who are funded on three year contracts and they'll absolutely be honoured um, for the music organisations through till the, uh, to the end of their funding period which is the end of 2016. But there is now an opportunity for people to also apply in 2015 for a new six-year category of support. And Frank's been doing a lot of the work on that. Yeah, so basically 
you know, we have just um, outlined on our website all the criteria and the process for the new six-year funding category and, and for the project categories. But fundamentally what we're saying is we're looking for organisations that either have a regional, national or international impact, that are organisations which obviously have demonstrated a level of um, you know, delivery over a period of time. But that obviously includes organisations which in the part, which are emerging and also have you know, achieved a certain level of, I suppose, vibrancy and artistic vibrancy. And within that context, we're also looking across what that looks like in terms of an ecology within each area of practice across the country and as a, an area in the art sector nationally as well. So that we're looking at that. And the process will be an expression of interest in March. So organisations can place an expression of interest they will be considered by um, panels of peers from each area of arts practice and those ones that have been shortlisted will then be invited to put in a full proposal later in the year. So basically the expression of interest is fairly, um, you know, at the moment we're looking at about three to four pages and plus some past support material and past financial records just to ascertain viability and stuff. But, you know, I think as we alluded to earlier, you actually need to look at the whole grants um, categories as a suite and see which is the one which is most appropriate to the way that you operate as an organisation. If you're an organisation which is driven by the delivery of a range of projects, that might be more appropriate that you, know, you consider the arts projects rather than the six-year funding. Six-year funding also, I think, is at times something which is determined by the kind of practice you might be involved in, in terms of what the leading times are and the flexibility you might be after as well. So, but you know, a lot of that's about having a conversation and looking through the information and contacting us about getting more detailed information. Oh, that's a good point because often um, I speak to people and they don't realise that the Australia Council, you can give them a call and talk to them. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So what happens um, with the art form categories? Obviously, there's no longer individual theatre, music and dance. Are there still going to be um, specialist music committees? So um, you will have noticed that at the end of last year, we did a very big refresh of our um, pool of peers. And so we've now moved to a model where we have a much larger number of peers coming in and making the assessments of uh, grant applications. But it's still our intention yep. to sort applications into practice areas and have the appropriate groups of peers look at those applications and make the assessments. Yep. So in that sense, there still will be panels of music peers who will be looking at music applications yep. in a discrete um, meeting. Uh, and that's absolutely our intention, that our firm practice um, is still acknowledged. Yeah. The, we, we've, you know, we've been around, going around the country sort of outlining the changes that we're going through at the Australia Council and we've been saying you know, there is a perception out there that we've gone to multi-art form panels for all applications and that is not the case. So as an applicant, when you apply to the Australia Council, you'll have an option of choosing which uh, arts practice panel of peers you wish to have assess your application. So it can be music, dance, visual arts, literature, community arts and cultural development, emerging and experimental arts. You can also choose a multi-art form panel. So you'll still be assessed by your peers of your area of practice, but you'll make the choice about where you want that to go. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Knowing um, from a funding perspective, there's always the debate about which which art form or category to tick because, you know, wondering if there's a bigger pot in any of them is always the, you know, $100 million question from outside the council. Any any comments on that one? Oh, I can give a comment around that. Um, the Australia Council's average success rate across all its program is, programs is between 18 and 25%. And fundamentally, that level of competition we don't consider it will change much under the new model. So trying to pick you know, where you think there might be more money has never been a successful strategy and I wouldn't counsel that to anyone. At the end of the day, what is assessed is the quality of the artistic proposal in front of those peers and that's what will be the driver. And obviously, you know, we um, operate in an environment where we cannot support all the great projects that come to us. But at the end of the day, that's what's been assessed.
and that's what we'll continue to be there for. We support the production of you know, the greatest quality of artistic work and cultural ambition. Mm -hmm. And there are roadshows planned. Do you want to flag the dates? So there have been a number of roadshows that have already taken place around the country yep. um, and now there's a new set of roadshows yep. that are rolling out. Yep. We'll be in northern Queensland next week. Yes, we're in northern Queensland. We're in Townsville, town, Rockhampton, Townsville and Cairns next week on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then there'll be a series of workshops uh, being rolled out in all the capital cities um, uh, from the week after that, for the, uh, which is fundamentally around the expression of interest process for the six year funding. I don't have the exact dates with me now, but we can provide them. But you know, it's a really important thing to reinforce the idea that you can give us a call. Yeah. Um, so there is now a grant inquiry team yeah. that's been operating for a couple of months now who are providing people with really good advice around what the new suite of grants look like and how they should be thinking about that. And um, it yeah. is still there and it is still ready to take your call. Yeah, and you can put in uh, online, if you want to, you can just send through an email through our website and inquire about the grants program and we'll get back to you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.